Wubba lubba dub dub. I'm a nihilist, Morty. An atheistic nihilist. I'm apathetic to everything. That's my hook, Morty. I don't give a fuck. Speaking of fucking Morty, I'm gonna pause that little neg hole. It's been officially sanctioned. People want to watch it, Morty. We're moving to California. We are moving to California. Nambla Rick, Morty. It's not illegal anymore. I'm not going to prison. People are going to fucking applaud it. They're going to applaud it, Morty. This is what our fan base wants. They want to watch me fuck you, Morty. That is what they That is what they are looking for, Morty. Hey, hey Morty. How far do you think this pickle's going to fit? Oh, I'm just joshing, guys. I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan. As you can tell from all the merchandise I've got sitting around my room, I get it. I fucking get it. I am big into Rick and Morty. Who couldn't be? This is the hottest new shit out there. Three seasons of high-tier comedy and a fan base that really, really appreciates it. I don't know if you're familiar with this yet, but you kind of have to be intelligent to really, to really grasp this level of comedy. To be able to appreciate the deeply woven scientific jokes that run throughout the entire series. Only somebody who keenly appreciates science itself will really, really take to this show. Rick and Morty is my favorite anime. I freaking love science. Now, I'm not talking about those dumb motherfuckers out there. Those stupid sons of bitches that watch shit like The Simpsons or South Park or Family Guy. That's for the masses. That's for the peasants. We don't watch peasant shows here. We are the Rick and Morty fandom. Did you know that exposure to this show can increase your intelligence? I'm Pickle Rick! I turned myself into a pickle! I'm a pickle. I'm Pickle Rick. He's a pickle. Do you get it? It's Pickle fucking Rick. Where are you going to find a joke like that? That doesn't exist on other television shows. That's not something you're going to find anywhere else. And the fan base, the fan base appreciates it. That's why they get tatted out. That's how you show your dedication and your love. You get a tattoo that tells the world, I watch children's cartoons that are popular at the moment. So 30 years from now, when somebody says, what the fuck is Rick and Morty? You have to have a really awkward conversation with them. Wubba lubba dub dub, am I right? Let's get those tatted up. I'm talking prison tier gang affiliation tats. You need to get those on your back. Just a whole fucking sleeve. Make them think you're like the western version of Yakuza. Except instead of dragons and tigers and cool shit, you've got children's cartoon shows all over you. Really show them what you're about. Show them what you got. So it's no wonder with such an intelligent fan base that when they demanded some motherfucking McNugget sauce, when they wanted that Szechuan goodness, when they wanted that silky, sweet, sweet and sour teriyaki hotness, McDonald's says, we hear ya. We know that you watch Rick and Morty, and Rick and Morty said something about our company. So let's hand out 10 packets per store across the country and see how you guys react. And like an educated, intelligent, intellectual fan base, they acted just like you'd expect. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't think I can handle this level of Mensa. I want Szechuan sauce. Where's my Szechuan sauce? I'm Pickle Rick! Wubba lubba dum dum! I'm Pickle Rick! This guy gets it. Some minor backlash, a few boycotts, and a couple eBay auctions later, and McDonald's found the error of its ways. Hallelujah, we can all get swifty now. Because how could my life be complete as a Rick and Morty fan? if I didn't get to taste that 1998 promotional sauce. Oh sure, I could take half of sweet and sour and half of honey barbecue, mix it together, but that's not officially official. That's not good enough. At least in the meantime, while I wait for that delicious McNugget sauce, I could pass the time by doing some musical numbers. I like to call that little ditty when the rehypnol kicks in. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. That's alright, cause I like the way it hurts. Just gonna stand there and hear me cry. It's so strange though. I've got this I've got this overwhelming sense of deja vu, like I've I've been through this before, like I've seen this play itself out before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. 
its origin points and its behaviors remind me so much of something if I could only it's right on the tip of my tongue it's it's bazinga it's the Big Bang Theory. I knew I'd come up with it if I thought hard enough. I had to use that superior intellect. That took three seasons of Rick and Morty to be able to, to grasp that answer, but I, I puzzled through it. But I suppose it makes sense. Both are shows that portray themselves as science-based comedies. They attract the exact same sort of audience, the sort of people that are enlightened by their own intelligence. They like to get high off sniffing their own farts. I'm talking about entertainment hipsters, the sorts of people that drive their cringe caravan from show to show to show, buying up merchandise and regurgitating memes at an obnoxious rate. By the way, Pickle Rick. I just want to say Pickle Rick. I fucking love Pickle Rick. I see Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! To the point where any goodwill that might have existed within a community that was built up around those franchises is completely shattered and ground to dust by the autism avalanche brought about by these people's mere existence. Is it... Is it possible that Rick and Morty is just merely the current year's Big Bang Theory? So much of it lines up, it's a little bit spooky. If Rick and Morty had a laugh track, or if the Big Bang Theory was turned into a cartoon, I, I don't know, it's like a doppelganger, really. Oh sure, there's some minor differences, like uh, Rick's alcoholism, but if you've ever watched the Big Bang Theory, you know you're going to need to be really fucking drunk to put up with it. So does it matter if it's a character on the screen or the person watching it that's completely liquefied their liver? But even so, that still leaves the mystery of the, the origin point. Where, where are these people coming from? Where are these entertainment hipsters, these online gypsies, where are they originating from? If I could just find that out, I might be able to solve this mystery. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's probably going to take at least two more seasons of Rick and Morty to be able to to be able to come up with an answer for this one. It's a it's a fucking doozy.